it's an immortality spell, but only for the immortality of the body. You're all, they're only going to resurrect your mortal body. Let me make that point. They're only going to resurrect your mortal body. The part, the part that comes up and dies again, you're just a slave. And let me show you that. And let me show you that in the scripture. So that's important. They're doing the same thing to you that Dracula is doing to you. Dracula doesn't give you eternal life as an eternal spirit. He doesn't promise that. Dracula is more honest than Jesus. Dracula tells you the truth. Jesus lies. Dracula tells you the truth. The father lies to you. The father tries to get you to believe that if you give him your soul, if you ask him into your heart, that you'll live forever and it'll be all great and wonderful. But what he doesn't tell you is what I'm about to tell you, ladies and gentlemen. The father doesn't tell you and Jesus don't tell you that if the spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he that raised up Christ will quicken your what? Your mortal body. He's going to quicken your mortal body. And I know that you don't really want to study the Bible. And this is why you don't study the Bible, because it breaks the paradigm that you're trapped in. And you like being uh, free because you're lazy. Your mortal body, that, look at the word mortal in the original Greek. What does it mean? That which is subject to death. Dracula is even better than Jesus. When Dracula bites you and when you drink Dracula's blood, you have life in you and you never, ever die again, ever. Jesus and, oh, man, Dracula is such a better deal. Dracula is such a better deal. If, you're, if you get bit by Dracula and Dracula gives you his blood so you have life in you, just like Jesus, same thing. You get bit by Jesus, you get bit by Dracula. You invite them in, Dracula or Jesus. Let's pretend. Let's pretend we've got a deal here. Let's make a deal. You're subject to death. Only your part that's subject to death gets resurrected. Let's make a deal. Jesus, what do you got? Dracula, what do you got for my soul? What do you got? I got to invite you both in. Okay, I got that. I got I to gotta drink both of your blood. Okay, I got that. Dracula, Jesus, what are you offering? Since you're the son of God, <laughs> we'll let you go first. Dra Jesus, what are you offering if I accept your, if I drink your blood, give you, my, give you my soul and let you live in my life? What are you offering me? You're offering me to be resurrected over and over again in my body subject to death. So what you're saying to me is, you resurrect me, and I got to live as a baby. I got to live as an awkward uh, pre-adolescent. I got to live as a teenager and go through all that again. And then I get about 10, 15 good years as an adult. Then I start breaking down and degrading, and I wind up pooping myself and having somebody feed me like an airplane. And then I do it all again. That's what you're offering. You're offering me to come back in a mortal body over and over and again. Dracula, what do you got? Wait a minute, Dracula. You say that if, if I drink your blood, then I get to look like Tom Cruise or Brad Pitt. I get to, to look like the very best part of myself. I get to look super hot. No, sh really? Okay. And I never grow old? Never? Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. I never grow old? I can disappear at will. Whoa. I can fly. Oh, man. Are you serious right now, Dracula? What is there anything else, Dracula? Chicks are going to dig me. Oh, dude, Dracula. Jesus, Dracula got a way better deal than you do. Dracula. If I was going to sell my soul, if I was going to drink some blood, I would do it for Dracula rather than Jesus. Dracula got a way better deal than Jesus got. Jesus, man, you got a shoo. Jesus has nothing but a kingdom of stupid people because if you want to sell your soul, Dracula's got a hell of a lot better deal than Jesus does. Wow. Are you kidding me? Dracula has got 
a deal. <laughs> Varian Witch says, sold. Oh, it's tempting. Dracula's deal is pretty damn tempting. Jesus' deal, not so much. Of course, I prefer to just hold on and get through and not uh, give myself away to either one of them. Dra not only Keith says Dracula's a pimp, not only is Dracula a pimp, Keith, he'll make you a pimp or whatever the equivalent of that is for a girl. Wow. <clears throat> wow. Why in the world would you ever accept Jesus? If you're looking to accept somebody, dude, go for Dracula. He's way better. It's a way better deal than Jesus got. Dracula got a way better deal. Teresa says Jesus is depressing. At least Dracula is sexy. <laughs> I agree 100%. And Dracula will make you sexy. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. The only, the only hitch is you can't go out in the daytime unless you're like those twilight ones. They could even go out in the daytime if it was cloudy and there was no sun, they'd get sparkly. But no, I mean, you can have daylight, Joe, but you just can't be seen in it. Else you'll be all sparkly and stuff. Dude. I think I just probably made Dracula's business booming. <laughs> oh boy. The old oh, Scotty boy. This is so good. Scotty boy says the only shitty thing about being Dracula is you can never see how good you look. <laughs> Cause you can't see yourself in a mirror. Oh, man, that's some funny stuff right there. That's some funny stuff. Well, ladies and gentlemen, at least now you know why Jesus and the Father are so desperate to get inside you. They are more desperate than an acne-covered guy who finally got a date to the senior prom. They're more desperate than that. They want inside you bad. Why? because they're trying to escape from this realm. Why Jesus and the Father want to come into your heart? Because they want to try to get out of this realm that they've been locked into. Wow. That is some powerful stuff. That might be the best, one of the best podcasts we've ever done. Apache says, Jesus Christ, the Redeemer. <laughs> Oh, yeah. He's a redeemer, all right. He wants you to redeem your coupon to come back for this again. Oh, no thanks. The only way Jesus saves is if he gets shops at Costco. Because, man, even Dracula got a better deal than Jesus, ladies and gentlemen. Even Dracula got a better deal than Jesus. Well, folks, I think I've done all the damage that I can do. That is a complete straight up answer of why Jesus and the father want to come into your heart. The comedy was free. And it does put things into perspective as soul trap matrix says, Javanka says, amazing. 